In this edition of Small Business Champions, three business owners discuss their strategies for keeping staff engaged. Business owners play a crucial role in the community, not only as employers, but also as leaders, mentors, and friends to their staff. Thank you to all our local business owners for their kindness and support during this challenging time. Slack is one of the things that we've been doing to make sure that we are always communicating with our staff. Um, so we have a lot of millennials on that like to text, uh, so that's been really handy. Uh, but also me as the CEO and founder, I've been making videos, uh, which have been fortnightly and weekly, just to tell the team what's going on. Some of them are um, not as engaged in the company because they are casual, but at least uh, by me providing the video, uh, we can't obviously do the face-to-face -face meetings anymore. So this is just a nice way for them to get those updates. Keeping our staff engaged has been a little bit tricky because I really love that face-to-face -face connection. Um, however, with constant calls and emails and keeping um, a very project focus, so keeping the project small and time-based, um, and uh, we have had the group Zoom chats and I think that they provide a lot of energy and um, refocusing. The one-on-one -on -one stuff is a bit more tricky, but you know, we've just been doing the best we can like everybody. The way we've kept our staff engaged is by uh, getting them involved in implementing the online shop. It's such a big process. Um, basically everything has had to be individually uh, uh, given its own codes again and uh, uh, re-entered and photographs taken and all of that entered onto new sites. So uh, yes, kept us very busy. Friends and family and, uh, are very important and you know, they'll support you through it. Um, enjoy yourself, go out more, go to better restaurants and drink better wine and dance more. At first I was really angry that they thought that everybody else needed to shut, like beauty therapists and everybody else that was touching the public. Yet hairdressers, you could still open and we still have to touch people. It's, we can't physically be a distance, our clients can be, but we couldn't. And I was angry that well, clearly they don't care about our health. And then I thought, no, actually we are an essential service. I had a client come in who was isolated in her home, living with nobody, and she hadn't even talked to anybody. She was a, a bit more mature client, came in and she spent half an hour in here having her hair done. And you could see that she lifted and I thought, actually, instead of being angry, I should be thankful that I can be that person that can make people feel good. And that we can be that social interaction for people that might not be getting it any other way. So I think that was my light bulb. Support for small businesses is a major part of the City of Adelaide's $4 million city support package. We've established a small business task force and are providing regular updates via our City Business Newsletter. To get all the latest information delivered to your inbox, subscribe today at cityofadelaide.com.au forward slash business. <laughs>